I'd like to say good morning and welcome to our parents and our parents, particularly of our grade two children, because this morning or this afternoon, we will be celebrating the learning that grade two have been doing. So I know that their teacher, Mr. Tulu, and everyone in the class have been working very, very hard to prepare presentations and videos and all sorts of information that they want to share with us. So without any more, I will just check. Mr. Tolu, are we ready so that grade two can celebrate their learning with us? Yes, we are ready, Mr. Smith. Excellent. Then I will hand yeah. over to grade two. Thank you very much, grade two. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, grade two's uh, celebration of learning. And I'm going to hand you over to uh, the kids, the students right away. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. You are welcome to the second graders celebration of learning. We hope you will enjoy our presentation. Our theme is how we organize ourselves. Our central idea is our choices can impact our environment. Our lines of barrier packaging, how and from what it is made, and how different materials we can use, and reduce reuse and recycle our waste. We learned about the need for packaging and the different types of materials used for packaging. Some of the materials which things can be packed in are plastic bags, wood boxes, or crates, glass, cardboard boxes, leaves, clothes, or fabric, metal, boxes, leather, and foil. This is a plus this is a plastic. And this is a cardboard. In this in this plastic there in this this is plastic and there and it is and this there was there was butter inside now there is gary this is glass And this is paper. Materials are chosen for different reasons. For example, metal is chosen because it is fire resistant, strong, safe, recyclable, easy to print on, and can be recycled. On the other hand, leaves are biodegradable and easy to carry. <laughs> this is my work. A bottle is cheap, safe, Easy to carry and it is fragile. This is a can. It is safe, it is light, and it is easy to print on. And it is water resistant and it can be recycled easily. 
This is glass and it is heavy and it's heat resistant, cheap, fragile, safe, and expensive. This is paper bag and is reusable, light, recyclable, safe, reusable, not water resistant, easy to print on, inflammable. This is a wood and it is heavy, flammable, safe, reusable. And this is can. It is light, cheap, safe, easy to print, water resistant, not biodegradable. So the biodegradable means it is eco-friendly and can be decomposed is without leaving any waste or causing any damage to the earth. Packaging are important because they protect the products that are kept inside them. They are also used to pass information about the product to the person who will buy. Some of the information you will find on, pack on packaging are how to use them and the expiry date, batch number, net width, and information. And the, num and the number of the company and the name of the product. This is my work on what you find on packaging. You will find batch number, expiry date, quantity, address and email. Packaging also has symbols which will tell you about the product. Some of those are disposed properly, can be eaten by Muslims, can be eaten by vegetarians, handled with care, recycle keeps dirty, fragile keeps, and keeps away from children. This is this is a symbol of somebody trashing this cross properly, and this is a symbol which tells you keep away from water. This is recycling, and this is poisonous. This is fragile. This symbol means that do not put it on top of each other. Fragile means that it can break easily. We carried out an experiment to find out how long materials take to decompose. We put some materials and food remains in the soil. All the food remains decomposed. They give off a bad smell and became a part, became part of the soil and in less than two weeks. Other materials such as paper, cardboard, wood, and tissues were dirty, but the 
the they they also were we also read that newspapers need many months to dissolve in the soil. Glass needs 100 to 1,000 or more years to clear. Needs, cans need 80 to 200 years to dissolve. Plastic bags need 200 to 1,000 years and, and plastic bottles need 450 years or more to dissolve. Over the years, human, over the years humans have continued to take decisions which have harmed the earth harmed and destroyed the earth with some of things are dropping of waste in the wrong places everyone every year around the world our rubbish mountains grows we try we tried to make them uh, some people forget all about it some people throw waste into the wrong place such as the around rivers, pathways, and corridors. They litter the environment. Human are humans are responsible for most of the problems of waste. We collect and dispose waste inappropriately daily around the world. So what can we do to stop this problem? When we drop our trash just anywhere, they get into the ocean and the animals eat them. It gets into their stomach and they die. When we eat the animals, we get sick. Everybody old and young should help to make the world a better place by recycling our waste, reusing our packages, and recycling the ones we have. This is a glass bottle that had jam in before. Now we're recycling it as to for sugar. This is a paper bag. It used to have food in. Now we are using it for pencils. This is metal and there is water in it. This has water before, but now it has granite. Use packaging which are eco friendly and biodegrading. You use plastic bags instead of getting a new one each time you go shopping. Buy products with packages that can be reused. 
buy products with packaging that can be recycled. Do not litter waste should put in the bin. It, this is to avoid the air pollution from the waste. Plastic packaging can be reused to store other things instead of buying new ones. We have a video for you to dance to. my poster about someone dropping trash into the ocean when this recycling bin is just right next to the Persian. And this is the place that the animals are eating it. Are there any questions? Thank you. Hello, audience. Do you have any questions for us? Okay, maybe Mrs. Akon, if you could manage the questions, maybe make a, a, few, a few words and help us with questions from anyone who has questions. Yeah. Okay, thank okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Gretu. I will say a very big thank you in the sense that I enjoyed your presentation. I really like the fact that you were able to mention a lot of scientific vocabulary words. And that is a good start for your grade level. And also you were able to educate us and enlighten us more about the um, recycling, which is also, which is very good and it will help to reduce put, um, pollution. So once again, well done grade two, you've done a very good job. So let's move on to questions now. Um, let me check if, how do I, 
Okay. So I will start with, I will start with grade three, then I move to grade four and grade five. So can somebody in grade three? Yes, somebody in grade three, please. Your questions, please. Somebody in grade three. What, le what learner profile did you achieve? Grade two. Learner profile you achieved. Do you... We achieved principal. Well, we done. achieved principal by listening very well and learning by ourselves. Okay, well done. One more question in grade three before I move on to another grade level, please. Somebody in grade three. My question is, what is your responsibility to re reduce the waste? Excellent, grade two. Now your personal responsibility. Yes, grade two. that you should recycle things, you should reuse things over and over again. Okay, have you started doing that in your home? Yes, yes, oh. yes. Okay, well done. So let me move now to grade four. Grade four. What did you enjoy the most what, what, in your celebration of learning? I enjoyed the dance. Okay, you enjoyed the dance. Somebody else again, can you tell us what you enjoyed? We enjoyed what you were saying and, and helping the earth. Okay, you enjoyed doing a lot of recycling, maybe at home. Okay, one more question, grade four, one more question. Which approaches to learning skills did you achieve? Okay, very good question. Approach to learning skills. Which? <laughs> the learning skills I approached was listening. Okay, so communication skills. So under, you did under communication skills, it was listening. Thank you. So now let me move to grade five. Grade five, please. If one of you was to create an item or an object, what material would you use to package it and why would you use that material? Um, Ola, please, can you go slowly? Ask that question again, please. If you were to create an item or an object, what material would you use to package it and why would you use that material? Okay, so. Plastic bottle. Why would you use plastic? Because plastic bottle is we, we, we use it. Okay, that is properties of material. Plastic bottles are hard. Um, Allah is a good question, but very technical. So yeah, she said, uh, she said plastic bottles are reused, they can be reused. Okay, you can reuse them. Well done. And they are hard. 
I will use perfumes and I will use and I will use what material we use for the perfume to put the perfume. I will use like a cardboard box. Why would you want to use a cardboard box? I want to use a cardboard box because it's very simple. Okay, well done. One more for grade five, then we'll move on to grade one. What action will you take from what you have learned? Okay, what are you going to do in the future? Or what are you doing now to, st to stop pollution or to recycle? Yes, go on. I'm going to be the governor of Lagos <laughs> and I'll stop people throwing trash everywhere. Well done, brilliant. So I wish you all the best, okay? So let's go on to grade one. So grade one, please. Which part was fun? Which part did you like very well? I love the ritual. Dancing. Dancing. Okay, you How like can the last improve part. your work? Let's try it again. How can you improve your work? How can you improve your work? Okay. Excellent. Good question. How can you improve your work? How can you improve on what you do? I can improve my work. By, by going back again and doing it better by writing well. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> well done, thank you. If you had a cardboard box, what would you do with it? If you don't have a cardboard box, what would you do? What other material would you use? Yes, yes, uh, yes, you heard the cover box. You heard, you heard the question. Can you give your hand? Leave you your hand, sir. Yes, guys, any other question? If you had a cardboard box, what would you do with it? Any ideas? Yes, Joshua. Make a bottle. With the cardboard box. Thank you. Thank you, great. Okay, so thank you very much. So let me go over to um, grade seven. I can see grade seven. Grade seven, yes. Please simplify your question. They are grade two, please. So grade two, before this new knowledge of yours, were you really interested in recycling or reusing or reducing? Before you started to do this. Yes, one after the other. Yeah. I was excited because I could make the world clean. Next question. Yeah. Okay, but were you interested? Yes. Yeah. Before you did the units, before you did the units, were you interested in recycling? Yes. Okay. Any other person? Before you did the units, before we started the units, were you interested in recycling? Yes. Really? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Grade eight. Uh, sorry, grade seven. So, can I hear from KG? KG, any question, please? Okay, Bess. Over to you, Bess. Why are you Pick happy up. of recycling? Are you happy recycling? That's the question. Are you happy recycling things? Yes. Why? Why are you happy? Why are you happy to recycle? Because we should clean the earth. 
Well done. Another person. Any other? Are you happy to recite quote? If you're another happy, person, Aisha, Aisha, Aisha wants to ask. Okay, go ahead. Aisha, you have to speak up. Come closer. The people loud. Do, speak up. Speak aloud. The people do the, the circle in the bee. Mr. Doji, can you help us out? Yes, I'm trying to get what she did. Yes, can you say it again? The people, the people try to decide the, the, the circle in the bin. Okay, she's saying that, okay, that people recycle in the bin already. That's the one in the school. I think she's making connection. Okay. With recycling with the bin. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, Joshua, okay. do you want to say something? Want to help us? She's saying people already recycle in the bin. So she's making yes. connection with the bin. Yeah. The one in the school. Okay, so let's thank you very much. So let's move on to parents. Parents, please, do you want to ask questions or do you want to make a comment, please? Or you want to comment on what you have seen this afternoon? Yes, please, parents, we are waiting. Hello. Yes, yes, Hello? we can hear you, yes. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Yeah. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. That has been a, that has been a great presentation. Uh, kudos to the teachers and uh, for the organizers. I've really enjoyed their presentation. And then it's very lovely. And then when you talk of uh, recycling, it is a very important aspect of uh, uh, things we need to know because of pollution, um, uh, this uh, uh, problem of uh, 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 the, the global warming that is happening now. So it is a very important topic. And then our children, need to know right now this uh, greenhouse effect so that is making the the uh, the glow to be warm and is causing all this problem that we are having is a very important topic and then we really appreciate the presentation and the organization thank you so much thank you very much i like the fact again that um, i was just looking at the lines of inquiry they were able to merge the third line, recycling, packaging, and they also went as far as doing some experiments showing how different materials decompose. Well done and great, um, great six. I'm sure you can see that uh, what you are doing in biology class, grade two, they're already um, having an advantage carrying out that experiment. So once again, I want to say thank you everybody. Thank you, grade two for showing us what you know about the unit and give, enlighten us again on how we can help to protect our environment. It is advisable that we should try and keep recycling and the world will be a better place. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, Mrs. Akon. Thank you, Mrs. Akon is our PYP coordinator and she makes sure that all the children keep learning and I think we have seen today how well grade two have done in learning about all aspects of packaging and recycling and about saving the planet. So thank you, grade two. I think it would be nice if everybody could give grade two a big round of applause. Let's all have a big round of all of grade two. I was very impressed with everything you've learned and all your confidence. Great. I would like to thank our parents for joining us today. It's great that you can come, take some time out of your work 
to be able to see what the children have done. And thank you for coming. And we look forward to hearing from other classes in the coming weeks. And I'm sure All we'll right. hear from grade two again when they learn some more in a different unit. So thank you very much to everybody for coming. Thank you to our parents. And we look forward to seeing everybody again very, very soon. And all right, don't see the both of the toilet and stuff. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.